Hello traders, welcome back. This is a video on how to set up your volume profile in Go Charting. Uh, we'll see how to set up basic session and composite profiles and uh, how to work around with them. This is the home page. Go to charts, click on equity. And this is the <coughs> default chart Nifty. Make sure to choose futures Nifty or Bank Nifty future or any other stock that you want. You can't apply it on Nifty and Bank Nifty spot charts as they are not traded. This is my 15 minutes futures chart. And go to indicators, order flow. You'll see two kinds of volume profiles. One is volume profile and the other one is volume profile tick. As the name suggests, the tick one is based on tick data. You can calibrate it according to the tick settings that you want. And it is the one that I recommend. Click on tick. And if you go to settings, order flow, you'll see that the auto mode is checked here. Uh, ideally, you can uncheck it and enter the tick size that you want. For more details on how to set up the tick size, I've already made a video on it. The description, the link to it will be given in the description below. You can check out. When you click on settings, value area, and whether you want the session profile or whether you want the composite profile here, something that you can check. Instead of left, I'd rather prefer it to the right, my composite profile. You can also, you also have a whole host of color modifications that you do. Set the volume format to bid, ask, or even deltas if you prefer, depending on your trading style. I usually keep it to <clears throat> total volume and bid ask on the composite side so that it helps me. And you can also change the colors here. This way. And this is how the toll looks like. You have your session profile, which basically forms a profile for each and every trading session. And you also have the composite profile that <clears throat> covers the current range of the chart and shows you the volumetric data. Apart from this, apart from this, there is also a third kind of a volume profile. Which is called your fixed range or flexible volume profile. You can see it here. It is technically in drawings. And if you search in drawings for volume, you can see fixed range volume profile because this is not an indicator and it is a tool. Uh, you can set it any, you can use a starting point and an ending point of your choice to basically show you the volumetric data, volume data at price. And I'd rather set the bench to 200, which makes it a little more cleaner. You have the same settings, uh, which is also pre which are present in the standard volume profile, the regular volume profile here, and you can use it accordingly. Once you make sure to calibrate the volume profile settings the way you want, basically <clears throat> make sure to save, go to save and create a new template and give it a name and make sure to save it so that it can help you. And you need not actually go through the whole process once again. What is volume profile and how exactly to use volume profile? There are already videos available on it. Uh, they will be shared in the description below. Please make sure to go through them so that you can enhance your knowledge and use this wonderful tool to be a profitable trader. Thank you all and see you soon.